Morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to see you today. It's uh, Monday, January 3rd. It's great to be with you. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, I, I hope you're able to join us in worship this, uh, this last weekend, this last Sunday, um, just yesterday, either online or in person, uh, as, we, as we focused on the faithfulness of our God in the year that's ending and, and in the year that's beginning. Uh, and what that means for us, huh? Um, and, and so I, I want to go over uh, some of the, the readings that we had that maybe we weren't able to explore in depth yesterday. Uh, and, and the one I want to look at today is one of my favorite readings, really, uh, from God's Word. It's in the Old Testament book of Lamentations, and it's chapter 3. And it, it, uh, it goes like this, um, because of the Lord's great love. So we start with God's love. We always start with the love that we know in Jesus Christ. His love is revealed in the cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his Son. God loves you. Uh, um, and and what, what's neat here, it says here, uh, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. Um, we, we are sinful people. We don't measure up. Uh, and, and, and so right away, this is saying it depends on God and his love and not how good we are. <laughs> um, and, and, and so this, this verse, when it talks about the faithfulness of God, uh, day by day and moment by moment and, and, and year by year, it's, it's focused on him, see, not, not on us somehow earning it at all. So, so it says here, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. Compassion, uh, the word means um, uh, that I, I hurt for the other one. Uh, and, and so God's compassion, his, his hurting for us in every situation uh, is, is always there. Uh, in, in, and that, that, that includes things that come into our lives because we fouled up. Uh, God is not one that, that sits back in judgment. Uh, all the judgment was laid on Jesus Christ, uh, but, but rather he, he looks at us in pity and in compassion. He hurts for us, uh, and he hurts for us when the brokenness of the world touches our lives or when relationships uh, break up when, um, uh, because of us, because those that, that we're in relationship with, right? He, in all these places, uh, when, when we're touched by the, the consequences of sin, uh, hurt and, and sickness and death, um, and and suffering and all those things, you know, um, depression and, and all, all of these things that aren't right. Uh, God is one who has compassion for us. He hurts for us. And I think that's, that's really important. This last year, he had compassion for us. The coming year, every day, right, he has compassion for us. And, and it goes on here. Uh, it says, for his compassions never fail. And then it says, they are new every morning. They're new every morning. You know, what does that mean? I, I shared yesterday that I, what I think it means is that is that life changes moment by moment and day by day. The situations change. My struggles change. Um, heck, who I am inside, what I'm struggling with inside changes, right? Um, moment by moment and day by day and situation by situation uh, and month by month and year by year. Um, and and so, so you have this, this great synthesis of life, in a sense, all around us. And and God is big enough to address each one. His, mer His mercies are new every morning. His mercies are applied to our life in, in, in the exact way they should be. Uh, and this is really hard for us to see sometimes uh, because sometimes it, it seems like God isn't there. Sometimes it seems that he's not listening to us. All these things, right? Uh, but in fact, just the opposite true. The Bible says God works all things together for our good. It's a great mystery, uh, but when we see his love for us in Jesus Christ and how the greatest evil that ever happened, the death of the Son of God, becomes our greatest good in his cross and his empty tomb, we can see how God is at work in, in every place and in every way for us. His, his mercies are brand new every day. They never fail. Uh, and, 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 and they're true and, and perfect for every situation. And then it says here, that this ends with, great is God's faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. God is always faithful. Now, all these, none of these things depends on us and, and how, um, how, how well we earn them, because we never earn them, right? It's all a matter of his love, his chesed love in, in the Hebrew. It's, it is a love of grace, undeserved love. And, uh, and, and so... Because it depends on God, we can be sure of this. Sometimes, yes, we have to walk by faith. Sometimes we see it. Sometimes we can look back and we can, those things that we, that, that we wrung our hands over and didn't know how God was working, we can see it. Sometimes there's just a mystery to it. We, we, can't, uh, we can't figure it all out. 
But we can know for certain uh, that, that every day in this last year, God's mercies were brand new to us. Uh, his compassions never fail. His mercy never fails. And he was always faithful. And we can be certain in this coming year, every single day, every moment, every situation, God is with us. He's Emmanuel. That's what we looked at over Christmas, right? God with us. And his mercies come into our lives and are applied to our every situation, moment by moment and day by day. Uh, w would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, we thank you that you reveal uh, the love of God to us. We thank you, Lord, that we can see that in the cross, the greatest evil that ever happened becomes our greatest good. We thank you for this uh, Old Testament verse, Lord, that talks about your love, how everything's based on your love towards us, uh, this love of grace, not a love that we earn, how, how you have compassion for us in every situation, uh, uh, and, and how your mercies are brand new, applied to our life every moment and day. And and that you are faithful to this. We pray, Lord, that we can go boldly into this coming year, every moment and every day, uh, knowing that you are with us and that your mercies are brand new every day in our life. Uh, give us your spirit extra measure so that we can live in this reality and help us, Lord, to, to share this wonderful reality with those around us. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.